Hi, today we're going to see how to create a typography text effect in GIMP. So the first thing we need to do is to create a new image. So go to File, New. The image width is 1920 and the height is 1080. Press OK. And now for the color of this layer, I'm going to select the black hair. Make sure the foreground is white. Select the text tool. The font I'm using is Poppins Bold and the size is 250. And now left click. And now I'm just going to type my text. So control A, I'm going to reduce the text size. So I'm just going to go with 200, press enter. So here it is. So now I'm just going to align this text layer here. So select the alignment tool, make sure the align is relative to the image and then left click on text layer. And now let's align it horizontally and then vertically. So now I want to create an outline here of the text. So I'm going to turn it into a path. So right click on text layer and then click on text to path. So here it is, and I'm just going to hide the text layer. I'm going to create a new layer. So click on this icon, fill it with transparency, and then press OK. If you want to remove these squares here, just select another tool. So if you left click here on the Path tab here, and then double click on the path. So here's our path here from the text we created. So now we are going to, so now we're going to trace the path here with the white color. So make sure the foreground is white. And then go to stroke path. Make sure you're on the layers here you're on the transparent layer we just created. So let's go back to the path tab and then click on stroke path. And now I'm just going to left click here the stroke line. I'm going to check solid color, check anti aliasing, and for the line width I'm going to go with five pixels and then click on stroke. So here it is. And now if you want to remove this path here, just select another tool. So now let's go back to the Layers tab. So here's our text, this one here. So now right click Layer to Image Size for the text layer, this one here. So now select the Outline. So I'm going to name it Outline. So here, press Enter. So now I'm going to duplicate this layer. So click on this icon. I'm going to hide the top one. And now, and now I'm going to select the bottom one, this one here. Select the Move tool. Left click here and then keep the control key down and then drag. So I'm going to drag it to here like this. I'm going to place it here. So here and now I'm going to select the top one, this one here. Left click and then keep the control key down and then here. Move it down. I'm just going to move it here like this. So here it is. And now I'm going to duplicate it. This one here, bottom one, I'm going to duplicate it again. Then left click with the path with the move tool sorry and then here i'm just going to bring it down like this and then here i'm going to duplicate the top one this one here duplicate it make sure you're on the move tool and then left click and then keep the control key down here and then drag so here it is so now i'm going to merge down this one here the outline this one here and this one so this is one so here it is. So I'm just going to merge these two. So here it is. And now I'm going to merge these two. So here are they. So now I'm just going to add a guide here to be more precise. So go to image, guides, new guide by percent. I'm going to go with direction horizontal and then the position is 50% and then press OK. And now select this one here, the outlines here. Select the eraser tool. I'm going to select this brush here. I'm going to go with the hardness 75 and the force 50. So for its size, I'm going to increase it a little bit. Make sure here on the view, the snap to guides here is checked. And now make sure to select the eraser tool. Left click here, as you can see it snaps. Left click and then keep shift key down. And then here, as you can see, you can trace here using the Razor tool, straight line. So I'm just going to erase. So here I'm just going to go back. So I'm going to increase the size a little bit. So here. So here it is for this one. And now I'm going to remove parts here of the outlines here of the these two. So I'm just going to increase the size. So here. This and then left click. So I'm going to then keep shift key down and then here. I'm going to increase a little bit size. 
So I will go back for this one here. Just going to. So here I think it's okay here. So I'm just going to remove the guide here. So go to image, guides, remove all guides. And now I'm going to merge down all these texts here. So I'm just going to click on this icon and then here second time. So here it is. And now I'm going to create a selection from this one. So right click alpha to selection. So I'm going to change the color here of the text here. So I'm going to hide this one. Click on this icon, create a new layer, fill it with transparency and then press OK. So here it is. Select the gradient tool. And now for the gradient, I'm going to choose the golden here, this one here. The shape is linear. And now I'm just going to trace on the new layer we created, transparent layer we created. So here it is. Press center and now go to select none and now I'm just going to add a slight bevel so go to filters the car and then add bevel so I'm going to go with the 10 pixel bevel here press ok so now go to colors curves you can still for example here to brighten so here it is press ok and now right click new from visible so here it is that's how you can create the typography text effect in gimp thanks for watching have a nice day and uh, till next time